welcome back to another episode of Fabric Quest with Nash. In this episode, I am going to show you all my knitting items that are essential to me uh, whenever I fly. Um, these are especially items that I have either learned that I need them because I have forgotten them or items that I have run out of my room in an airport or in a hotel and go and buy because I needed them as soon as possible. Otherwise, my project was not going to be complete. And yeah, so if you would like to stay tuned and see what I got to say, let's get started. So one of the first things I always take into account is how much time I'm, I am going to have to knit while I'm on vacation or on the plane. Usually I never knit on an airplane because as soon as the wheels, you know, are not touching the ground, I pass out and I fall asleep and I, and I do not wake up until I hear welcome to your destination. That's pretty much me, like I sleep the entire flight. It's very rare that I stay awake. So I usually never pack um, a lot of knitting projects for me to do on the airplane because I usually never knit. However, I do always try to do carry on because I do not like to wait for my luggage. So because of that, I try to pack very light and as well, I only try to take projects with me that I know I'm going to be having time to work on and I know I am not going to be upset if I drop a stitch or if I miss a yarn over or if I don't cross the cable the right way. So one of the things I do is I usually take with me a sock project. A sock project for me is very easy because I usually try to pick like one of the funnest yarns I have in my stash and then from then on I do a very easy sock pattern. For example, these are the latest sock uh, I was working on while I was on my trip to Houston and as you can see it's just a simple stockinette um, too but it's going to have an after top heel and it's going to have like a contrasting yarn toe so this was a project I took with me because I knew I wasn't going to be paying a lot of attention to my pattern because most likely I am going to be talking to all the people I, I am going to go see them at this, my destination. So basically this is what I took with me. I also like to take on all my trips needles that are made out of wood or bamboo and more specifically needles that are small and thin. Um, I never had trouble working with these or passing through the security with these type of needles. One time I did get stopped because I was working with double pointer pointed metal needles and to tell you the truth those needles were dangerous because I was knitting a pair of socks as well and I stopped myself and I don't mean like I stopped myself and that's it I mean the needle went through my finger like through this area on my skin so I knew they were dangerous so when they stopped me at TSA, they were like, can you open your case? And they saw I had like a bunch of yarn in there and I have a bunch of projects. So they knew I was a knitter, but usually those are the type of needles they will try to take away from you uh, while you're at the airport. So yeah, bring like a pair of bamboo needles or wood needles. Those are easier to move around. Uh, I also like to bring socks with me because they do not occupy a lot of space on my luggage and also they do not need a lot of room to work on like if I would bring with me long needles they will usually you know I have to use my whole arms whereas if I have socks and small needles I only knit like this then another thing I try to bring with me is um, a little bag and usually in this bag I will carry all my little accessories um, also I always bring with me a waist yarn waist yarn is good just in case they tell you that you cannot take your needles you can use your waist yarn and some darning needles which is what I have here 
to salvage all your stitches and put them on hold um, if they take your needles for any reason. So these are the two things I also put inside my little bag. Also, another thing I bring with me is um, a little gauge needle. And you may say, why do you need to bring a gauge needle if you only have one project to work on? This gauge needle is awesome because it has all the needle sizes, as you can see. And it also has a little ruler. So let's say that you're working on a sock and you want to know how many inches you have until you can get to, I don't know, eight inches. You can use this uh, gauge and this little ruler and it will tell you how much you have to go. Also, if you're working on a swatch, you can use that little ruler as well. So I find this one very helpful. Then another thing I also take with me, if I cannot bring my gauge needle that has a ruler on it, I bring a little measuring tape. This one is super cute. It's made by Lantern Moon and you can only pull like a little leg out and then you can snap it back on and that's your measuring tape. And I find that really, really helpful. I regret it many times when I don't bring a tape measure with me on my trip. So now I include it in my little bag. I also try to include um, little stitch markers. So these are like little safety pins that you can pop open. And let's say that you drop a stitch and you notice um, after you pass that column where the stitch was dropped, you can really quickly use this one and pick it up later on. And I also put in little stitch markers just as dividers. You never know when you might need it especially if you're working on patterns that have cable or lace or whatever you may uh, want to use them for. Lastly, I do not like to have my needles, especially double pointed needles, without protectors. So one thing I always bring with, bring with me are um, needle protectors. So these are ones that are made for double pointed needles and they're like little cheaps. And then you put the needles in between the the protectors and it has little holes on the bottom so you can you know attach your needles let me see so this is how I will use it I will put two needles here and then I will put my other two needles here and that is protecting my stitches and is allowing me to store my project without worrying that the stitches may come loose or out of the knitting needle so I like to bring this as well if you are working with circular needles, you can use this type of um, needle protectors, which are like little pandas. These are the little pandas, and they have a little hole in the bottom, so you can put them at the ends of the needles. Also, they have some coils that you can use as well, and that will protect your stitches from coming off the needle. And also, the last two things, this is a washi tape. Uh, washi tape, if you are working with something that has an actual pattern, like a cable or a lace pattern, you can use your washi tape to, you know, mark where in the chart you're at. I know there are chart keepers, but usually they're kind of bulky and you do not have a lot of room when you're sitting on an airplane. So this, is, this might be easier for you to keep your place on your pattern. And lastly, I know that they say um, not, you're not allowed to bring scissors on the airplane, but I've been bringing my puppy snips everywhere I go with me on carry-on and whatnot. And puppy snips are like this little, this little puppy, and then you clip the ends, and then it comes out, and it's a little scissor. So yeah, that's what I bring with me. I've never had trouble traveling with this, so bring it at your own discretion. Lastly, another thing you might bring with you is a little self-address envelope with a stamp, just in case they take your needles away from you or your little puppy snips. You can always mail it back to yourself, so hopefully that will help you uh, as well during your trip. And lastly, do not forget to bring your passport your airplane ticket and get to the airport in time and that's it i hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon if you are going anywhere safe travels and take a lot of pictures so let me know 
Are there anything else? Is there anything else that I need to take with me when I go on trips, especially when I fly? And tell me some of your knitting stories. I want to hear what kind of projects do you guys pack? What kind of things do you guys bring with you? Have you ever had any experience of items being taken away from you? I want to see, I want to know. So yeah, let me know. Without further ado, I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon and I will see you soon. Bye.